Hey you. So look, we're going to train your abs today. All abs, all 10 minutes. Let's go. Hello there. Hey, welcome. I'm PJ from Fitness with PJ and today is all about the belly. Woo baby, we have got 14 abdominal exercises, 10 minutes in total, and we are going to get busy right away. So let's get set up. First move is a V-sit, okay? What does that mean? We're sitting up nice and tall. I want you to stack that vertebrae. Excellent, now keep that low back, keep that spine the same. Lean back, nice, feel that grab. Extend the arms and hold. We're just gonna chill here for a little bit and then we're gonna lay her on. Now look, if this is too stressful on your low back, sit up a little taller or if your back is talking to you, guess what? Your abs aren't doing their job, so reset your posture. Now in a little bit, we're not only going to add on, we are going to keep this move and add a reach. So I want you to set the shoulder blades back and down now, arms extended. Take the left arm, reach behind you as far back as you can, look back, touch the ground, center, then the rear. Excellent. The entire time you're keeping that V-sit, right? Okay, good. You're not supposed to lose that. Reach it back. This is such a great move to train the abdominals deep in the midsection. So the same abs that we train, for instance, when we're doing a plank. So our deep abs called the transverse and they act as a stabilizer for our spine. Let's aim for one more each side. Last side, beautiful. All right, layering on from here. This time we lift the feet up off the ground. Okay, bring the hands down by your hips and extend the legs out and the upper body. So you just feel the tips of your shoulder blades on the mat and in again, I call this a double crunch. Because, well, you got both ends of the body crunching. Hands are going to assist you. This is too much. Let one leg go and just do a one leg it. But it's not too much, is it? We can do this. We're only here for a little bit. And then I can't read my handwriting, so I don't know what's next. <laughs> okay, I just figured it out. Last three, two, one more, one. Quickly flip yourself around. Wrists under the shoulders and hold a high plank. If this bothers your wrist though, by all means drop onto your forearms. Now set yourself so that your bum is down a bit so you've got that long plank in the body, okay? Feet are apart, hip width, and wrists are under the shoulders. And then tuck the elbows in. We don't want them flaring out. We're adding on to this move too in about 10 seconds. So once again, we're training the deep abdominals here, your transverse. Now we also get the hips, the obliques are firing, the upper body. That's why we love planks as trainers. It gives you lots of pain. <laughs> Just joking. Okay, very slowly now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap the shoulders. Good, each shoulder. Great, now tap the hip. Now tap the foot, so keep the hand there and push yourself back like a downward dog. Go back to plank and push yourself back, good. Go slow. I know some of you like to go speed, speed, speed. This is slow. Here we go, reach for the toes. Excellent. One more of this series. Shoulder, shoulder, hip, hip, toe. You feel the abs yet? Hope so. Stay in this high plank. Now come down onto your left and right forearm and lead back up to high plank. Now lead with the other arm, so plank ups. So with this abdominal, we also get some triceps training. Who the hell doesn't like a little tricep training? I know, not you, you love triceps. If you need to modify, knock down onto your knees. Keep the hips down. Flip it over for some bicycles next. One more. And release. Alrighty, you flip over. Hands light behind the ears. Only doing a bicycle to your left knee, all right? Let's try it. Bring the left knee in, right elbow to knee, back to center. Same knee, same side. So essentially, we're not gonna move this left leg whatsoever, but the right one's extending straight, pushing away from the body, 
Heel coming down towards your mat. Three more, we'll switch sides. One more. Get yourself set up, other side. That's it, looking good. So now just moving that left leg. Use the abdominals to stabilize the hips as the leg lowers in addition to lifting the body up. Last three, and then we're switching it up. One more. Straighten the legs straight up, toes pointed towards you, and lift up and try to touch your toes. Now, if this bothers your neck, because it kind of bugs my neck, feel free to hold on to the head, give that neck some support while you were crunching up and reaching towards those toes. Exhale as you reach up. Keep your bum on the mat, however. It's only the upper body that's lifting up. We'll add that lower body in the next exercise. Last four, three, two, one. All right, now both hands behind the head. I want you to roll the tailbone and the head up and then slowly lower the legs slightly bent to the ground and roll up. Now, if that bothers your low back, bend your knees more or just don't lower the legs, okay? So you'll just do the reverse crunch and full crunch here. My back's feeling a little tender today myself, so I'm gonna really bend the knees so that I work the, work the abs, but I don't screw up my back. See, with age comes some wisdom, huh? Younger PJ would have just gone for it and ended up in physio for four days. Last two, one more, release. All right, here we go, come on to your side for me. Elbow underneath the shoulder. Feet stacked. Excellent. Top hand behind the ear. You can modify this by being on the bottom knee. So we're holding the side plank, okay? Now take that top knee, drive it in while you bring your elbow down towards the knee. Performing a bit of a side crunch here. Now be careful with that elbow. We want it underneath the shoulder. So it's not really careful with the elbow. I want you to be aware of where that elbow is. Four more, we're gonna add on to this one. One more. All right, now keep the feet on top of each other. Bring that top elbow down and underneath and lift up and reach back. If you want, you can also stagger your feet to help you with your balance. So take that top leg and place it in front. When the timer goes, we're gonna to go to the other side and do these two moves. Wait. Last four, three, two, one more, one. Excellent. All right, side plank, other side. Elbow under the shoulder. Lift the hips up. Again, stay on that bottom knee to modify. Hand behind the ear. Lift that top knee. Bring it and crunch it towards you while you give me a crunch and bring the elbow to the knee. See, I'm going slow, controlled. I'm feeling the abdominals contract as I do this movement with control. Sometimes subtlety is what you need when you're working abs. Bring that elbow under the body in three, two, one. Now stagger that stance, elbow back, ready, and go. Down. Reach it up. Great job, down, reach it up. Are you able to get that elbow to touch underneath the body? Give it a try, four more. One more. 
Now stay here, don't drop, don't drop, don't you drop. Good job. Now walk yourself into a front plank, last move and hold. Dropping on the knees if you need to modify, but not completely dropping. Yes, yes. So our last move, let's finish strong. Hopefully feeling that midsection, all of those abdominals fired up. We've hit the ball, trust me. Last few seconds. And release. Hey, hey, good job you. Thank you so much for joining me on my little 10 minute ab routine. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you leave and take a look at all the other workouts I have. We'll see you next week, bye. Well, that went pretty well, huh? Good job.